Okay guys, I'm trying a new camera setup. Hope this comes out good for you. Anyways, today we are going to be taking a look at an old school bushcrafting kind of setup and philosophy. So let's take a look at my bushcrafting blanket. Okay, so like I mentioned, today we're gonna to be taking a look at my bushcrafting blanket. And this is essentially what I would kind of deem my old school bushcrafting uh, setup or loadout. And before backpacks were popularized, this was actually a really popular thing to do is to basically you know, pack up your entire bushcrafting loadout into a blanket or some kind of bedroll. So I thought it would be fun to take a look at that as kind of another creative option as well as a more lightweight version of what I would carry, kind of as a five tool rule or something really minimalist. So let's get into this. Okay, so starting this off, we have these two paracord ties and basically everything that's on the inside of this is set up in between these two paracord ties, aside from the axe, obviously, and everything cinched down as hard as I can get it. Now to start off with the blanket, because the blanket's the most important part here, it kind of determines, you know, your bushcrafting blanket, obviously. So with this, this is one of those really awesome but very hard to find uh, army surplus 100% wool blankets. I figure if you're going to go with a bushcrafting blanket, you got to go all the way, old school and quality wise. These blankets are very rare to find, but if you can get one of these, you will not be disappointed. These 100% wool army blankets are really tough and they're also really very warm. So anyways, I just have these kind of two straps here. They're just pieces of paracord with jam knots on them to keep everything locked together. So let's dig into what I have rolled up here. So I don't have a whole lot rolled up and I wanted to keep a heavy emphasis on minimalism. So the first two things, hopefully you guys can see here, are just my Titanium Bot by Vargo and also my fire kit. This is my traditional fire kit and uh, this is my traditional fire kit. It has a whole bunch of just old school means of fire and I thought this would be a really fun kit to kind of go as much as I can realistically go. Uh, old school so you know leather uh, old-fashioned things. I didn't want to have this be like really new with high-tech kind of things. I mean the bots a little bit obviously new but I wanted to keep it pretty old school so that's the first two things and of course I have some stuff in the bot I have uh, tea mixes and a couple cliff bars stuff like that in the bot so, so the next part of this roll so if we roll it out is kind of my other camp gear and so I have a uh, Victorinox. I forget the name of this Victorinox, but you know, it's just a really classic uh, Victorinox that has the normal blade, the pen blade, the saw blade, you know, your scissors, just a whole bunch of really nice tools. So lastly, I also, or not lastly, uh, but then next I have a good old uh, belt knife, and this one of course is the Bark River Knives Aurora. So I wanted to, once again, go with the whole leather and rustic theme with this knife. Then next to that, I have uh, some paracord, and this I know isn't the old school kind of thing, but it's just paracord, it's really great, and I have a bunch of it laying around. And then lastly is a good old fashioned ax. I think any kind of forestry kit like this cannot be complete without a really nice ax. So I have the GBA Scandi Forest ax here and this kind of provides the backbone to the whole roll and obviously it's the uh, last thing, first thing rolled, last thing pulled out. So that is the bed roll. Essentially it's a really basic bushcrafting system. I didn't want to overcomplicate this with a whole bunch of stuff and you know just have a whole bunch of stuff that's not you know, really there. It's just there to be filler stuff. This is kind of core stuff that I'd be using on a day or overnight or outing and realistically be something that I could easily roll up in a bed roll or in a blanket like this one. Anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Hopefully it's been a fun little look at something a little bit more traditional uh, and a little bit more minimalist. So anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.